All right. A lot of people right now are asking. <laughs> so I want to make sure I want to make sure I get this and I do it right. So filter blade is where we make our filters, right? So a lot of you guys have seen my filter and a lot of you guys have asked for my filter and you know, you guys mess around with it. And you can see I have all kinds of changes. And the way that I built my filter and the way that I started it was I went I went to the filter blade website, I logged into my account and I pretty much I did this. I hit create new filter. When I hit create new filter, I choose or I chose what I wanted to play in. So right now we're never sync softcore, there's never sync hardcore, never sync stable, never sync ruthless. Since I'm playing softcore, I started with softcore. I picked semi strict because I noticed in never synced when I started and I went to strict, it removed a lot of things and it wasn't really for me. So you could pick whatever level you want to start with as your base and work on it. Now, the semi strict one shows you all the coloring and how everything works on all of the items. And what's really, really, really cool about it is if I hit the button styles here, you see I'm on abyss style. Normal, if I click on normal and I exit out of this, this is what the normal filter would look like, which is I'm sure what a lot of people are used to. So I found a style that I really liked. That's why I have Abyss. I really like this green color. I think it looks really, really, really good. The first thing that I want to point out with the filter is after you select your style and what you want to do, we go to customize. And pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to start picking and choosing what we want to see and what we don't want to see. And the first thing that I know a lot of you guys have asked for is double anointed amulets. So the setting for customize is broken down in all different sections, vendor recipes, currency, currency, special, uniques, divination cards, so forth and so on. And as you like click through these and, and look at these, it's a little overwhelming and a little weird, but you can indeed start to get the hang of where things are. So since we're doing blight stuff, it should be under league specific items and mods. And then we come down to blight anointed items. And right now, double anointed amulets look like this. And to me, that's pretty hard to notice, especially if you're doing a lot of blights and a lot of things are falling, your eyes are really going to kind of glaze over it. So say you wanted to make this a little bit more exciting and a little bit more standouty. We click this to bring down this box, and then we have the options here to change and edit whatever we want. So we can make it different colors. We can make the border different colors. We can make the background different colors. And you pick and choose something that really stands out like this. This would really stand out in my eyes in a sea of stuff that was falling. And what's really cool is you could choose to have it have a beam. You could choose the color of your beam. You can go a mini map icon and you can pick different mini map icons that you want to show on your map. So it would show like that, or I could do it into a star or I can get into a moon. I can change the color of it. So it stands out really, really, really well. And you can just also set the sizing of it. Outside of that, this button right here is the sound button and you could choose your sound. Six should be the divine swing. And then you can pick all different sounds. So me personally, I love this sound. I'm sure a lot of you guys love this sound. So when I hear this inside of a Blight Ravage, this happens and this falls. Now with the filters and setting everything else up, it's just gonna be a lot of trial and error and shutting things off. Yesterday we got asked about bases and how people like add and remove bases. Well, if you're like me and you pick on the semi strict filter when you go into it, it's going to show you a lot of crap. So you see right here, end game rares are off, tier three rares are on, tier two rares are on, tier one rares are on. So when I first did this, I literally went in here and I said, I never want to see garbage. And I turned off garbage. If you don't know what tier two rares are or tier three rares are, you can actually see them here down a little bit lower and you can go to tier two and you can shut them off and tier one, you can pick and choose. Now, I personally, at some point, so a really good example would be shields. If I go to shields, I know me personally, I don't care about Archon Kite Shields. These are labeled as tier one shields. I will move this by clicking tier two and then coming here and clicking tier two and moving this off. So I will never see an Archon Kite Shield again. Same thing with this, like I like actually like lacquered buckles. I look for them a lot. 
so you know i can put them back to tier one i can move things around but shields that i don't want to see i can come in and move same thing with all of the items if you're playing an armor evasion build for example you can see all the armor evasion bases and you can pick and choose what you like and what you don't like if you don't like anything you just click them all off and then get rid of them all so one thing that i did just to kind of go back to the filters to show you guys something a little bit easier is in my personal filter that I can see I've made a lot of edits on, a lot of people are looking at and following. When I go to customize and I go down to the item bases back here, you see I have everything off. Like all of it's off. Tier one rares are off, tier two rares are off, tier three rares and tier four rares are off. And I actually went up to the section here that says add and show rares. And you can actually show bases with a custom rule. So in here, when I come into this section here and I go highlight by base, I can actually add a rule and edit a rule and put all of the bases in here. So if I wanted to find, and we'll just remove reaver axis, if I wanted to find reaver axis, I type reaver axis here and I add it in and you're done. You'll see and notice too that even in currency, I have a lot of currency changes. Specialized currency, I have a lot of changes. Incubators, I've shut off shit tier incubators. I don't want bad incubators. In regular currency, I have a bunch of different things turned off. There's large stacks, small stacks. It all gets very confusing very quick. The easiest way to do this is if you were to go and do a map and just simulate a map. Let's just grab a bunch of stuff and simulate a map really quick. The easiest way to do this is while you're mapping and while you're playing and killing mobs, you'll eventually find items that drop to the ground. So you see how like nothing here falls. We got this, oh, perfect, blacksmith whetstone. So say these drop and you don't want these. You go to your inventory, you pick it up, you do control C on it, come back to filter blade, hit simulate, import items from POB, POE, and then control V. This will show you where it is in the customizer. So right now, I guess it hasn't saved and updated and this is on. So if I hit find and customizer, it'll bring me to the section where it's at and I can hit hide. And you can do this with everything. You can do this with individual armor scraps. You can pick up the armor scraps, do the same thing, come in here, simulate, look for it, put it in, shut it off. You can do this with larger stacks. You can do this with stacks of two, stacks of three, stacks of five. And as things fall and different stack sizes fall and they show up on your filter, you can pick up the stack size and it's a little it's a little annoying yeah but eventually you just get to the point where less and less stuff starts showing up and you're able to remove more and more and more stuff same thing with uniques as you find uniques and you find different uniques of different tiers you can actually just shut them off too so you can see in my uniques i have d tier uniques completely turned off i don't care to see them I have started removing B and C or T uniques. I have started removing things out of this list. So a really good example, we'll just say the Scholar Robe. Scholar Robe's Cloak of Flames. Just say Cloak of Flames eventually comes to the point where it's super simple and easy. You never want it. You can click this little X. Same thing with Elevore. I never want to see an Elevore again. I'm just going to click the little X. Elevore is gone. Boom. Just like that. Don't got to worry about it. Jack the Axe. Boom. Gone. Don't want to worry about it. Easy. Gone. So long. Farewell. La Vida Zay. You just click the little X and things are gone. So as you start playing, you start seeing things. Storm Chaser boost, boom, gone. Don't give a shit. You know, you just can start to really, really spend time customizing your filter the way that you want. This, this, I don't even know what this is. What is this? Gone. Boom. Forget about it. Hey, get it out of here. This, I don't know what that is either. Boom. Gone. What is this? Obliteration one. Boom. Gone. Just like that. They'll never show up again. Get them the hell out of here easy peasy bro easy and there are other things that you can do too like you should really explore and check out certain things you can go into style and you can set your sounds you can set your background colors you can set your text colors you can just make everything one color you can set all of your sounds and you know that's not all as my friend Daya would say you can go in and you can even shut off all of the beams bro or you can make all of the beams large and in charge but there are settings you can go into settings and you can really customize and pick things how you want to do things. 
you can go into simulate you can actually come into the simulator here and you can generate loot so as i start generating loot here i'm like i, well, I don't want what is it i don't want this i don't why is this here you can easily just click on it it'll show up down here find it in customizer double check i don't want these get these get them out of here get them out of here get them. orbs of finding get them out of here bro and that's it they're gone so long farewell get them the hell out of here you can generate regular loot you can generate valuable loot why are these here get them out of here see gone just like that ain't gonna show up anymore boom baby gone and then you know you play around with it you see what you like what you don't like there are global styles you can remove all the sounds you can remove all the background colors all of the text you can maximize all the sizes you have so much room to play around i know me personally i shut off all of the beams I felt that beams for me were just a little too much. They were a little annoying. They really kind of ruined everything. And, you know, I really encourage you guys to like go in here and pick them out. But as far as things go with my filter, if I'm in a map and I start seeing a lot of crap, so like currently in my filter, I see a lot of jewelry, like a lot of high tier jewelry. And I really want to start removing that jewelry from the filter. I'm going to start picking bases that I want. But other things like sacred orbs, or things like divines, you can easily pick these things up off the ground as you see them, control C them, go to simulate, import item, and just really give it a good edit. So one of the other things that I really like to do before I forget is things like heavy belts and leather belts become very unique and your eyes eventually start to glaze over them. I don't know how many times that you guys have like, gone into a map and you'll see like a whole spiel of uniques and like you're look trying to look at every single belt and you'll miss a belt and you don't know and you'll see a belt and you're not really sure you're kind of sure well there is a there is an area so under uniques there's a setting see where it says only belts and my belts are like this i can literally click this and this will only do my heavy belt and my leather belt and make them stand out this is another trick that my buddy reality showed me is to literally make your heavy belts and your leather belts completely stand out outside of everything else. And I, I encourage you to try this and you'll really like probably never miss anything again. And I know filters, like I said, I, filters are just very overwhelming and, and very hard to deal with. And I know when I look at this, I get easily overwhelmed, but after playing with it and messing around with it and doing things, it's become easier and easier. Don't forget, by the way, after you make all your changes, save and sync, and it'll upload right to PoE. When it's done uploading the PoE after your game loads. I didn't mean to go there. I wanted to go somewhere else. After your game's done and loaded, you'll find it in the item filter. You hit refresh, and then just make sure the time matches the time IRL. Well, I guess it's saying it's sometime early in the morning, and you'll be able to see all different kinds of changes to what's going on. Now, like I said, one of the really interesting, cool things is if I were to go grab a map, if I were to go grab a map and I were to do my standard chisel, alk, val, map shenanigans and put my map in and run my map, if I start finding random ass things in my map, I, I'm just going to shut them off, right? Oh, look, a wildwood. So like orbs of augmentation, right? If I don't want orbs of augmentation, I'm just gonna pick these up. I'm gonna control C them, bring over a filter blade, go into simulate, import and put these in and just take a look at what's in here. These are only augs, right? And this says show stacks of five or greater. I guess that's okay for now. We can leave that for now. As it starts to get a little bit more overwhelming, we'll worry about it. And I can just really just kind of like go in and you can see all of the stuff that's hidden. Like if I want if if I want portal scrolls and I want them to show up again, I pick them up. I pick up my stack of five, right? I control C my stack of five. I come on over to here. I go to simulate. I put them in, and then I just turn. I just like this. Click show and boom, portal scrolls back on. Easy, just like that. But yep, yeah, that's it. That's the filter. That's how you do things. I hope that helped. I really do.